Hi, this is Matt from tracymatt.co.uk and today we're looking at the LG KU990 or otherwise more commonly known as the LG Beauty. As you can see the box is quite small but quite nicely presented and inside the slip case we have uh, the box with the lid that opens. You can see there's a pop-up section here. Again, this is a nice presentation and just inside you have device sitting on top which lifts out here. Take a look at that in just one moment. Also have stylus, which unusually sits on a little lanyard strap type thing so they can dangle from the phone rather than being inserted into the phone. I think that might be more popular with the ladies than the gentlemen. So have battery which is quite small, compact and uh, rather light. It's only a thousand milliamp hour battery um, so we'll be interested to see how long that will power the device for. So you'll see inside everything's put into different compartments. First of all you have a power adapter with a charge cable obviously but this is a proprietary cable as you can see there um, which I do find a little frustrating um, I would much rather see um, a USB or mini USB style charger however there's also a packet for the data cable which again is USB and proprietary connector on the other end again slightly frustrating I feel but you can't use a standard mini USB cable. There's also a little box for headphones. There's a set of headphones with a proper 3.5mm jack plug on there, which means that you can substitute these with your own headphones that will possibly be of a higher quality. And there's also an adapter with an inline microphone. Again, the same proprietary connector with an adapter in line where you can plug in your 3.5mm jack headphones. Button on the side and a volume control. Also a clip so that you can hold it in place on your clothing. Nice arrangement and a nice compromise having the proprietary connector but also including the adapter. Um, I think that's quite, quite good. Comes with a screen protector. A line on the bottom. Is the manual. There's a, a small CD ROM um, which I've discovered doesn't work in every single DVD drive or CD drive on PCs, especially if you've got a slot loader, they sometimes get eaten. So, getting started and defining the features guide and a full manual there also. So, if we return to the device, throw everything out of the way there. So, you can see on the side facing us at the moment is the camera. It has a proper flash and it is a 5 megapixel camera. Looking at the phone here at the moment it does look like a dare I say ordinary uh, compact camera such as you would find from Canon or Panasonic. Um, nice thing about the feature with this uh, phone, the LG Beauty, it is designed for capturing video as well as stills and interestingly the native format that videos are recorded in is DivX, which means that they'll be compatible with PC quite nicely. So on the back, or should I say the front, I have a large touchscreen. That's a 3 inch touchscreen. It's TFT 240 by 400. So it's, I guess, considered to be widescreen, if you view it that way. Just under that, we have a series of buttons, which I'll just pull the film off for more obvious. There's your make and end or send and end call keys, red and green phone buttons, and holding down this button here will power the device on. There's also another soft or menu key just underneath. On the side, we have the socket, as I say, the proprietary socket for your headphones and sync charge and so on. There's also a sliding cover over there is 
I believe, a much better arrangement than one of these rubber grommets that you have to pull out or gets in the way. Top here you've got the place where you would put your place your stylus and connect that on. I think that, uh, they're often referred to as uh, phone charms. On the top is the release for the battery which I'll show you in just a moment. On this side we have a slide control setting which controls the camera. So you have one setting for stills, one for video and one for playing back your recordings be it still or video. There's a nice plastic film over the other buttons here. And we have a lock button, so it locks the keypad, and also the camera shutter release button for taking your pictures. The actual bottom of the device is rounded off and doesn't actually have anything on there, apart from a little hole which um, I'm guessing must be for the microphone when you're making calls. Um, it's actually very light. Um, I you know, granted, I don't have the battery in it at the moment, but the quoted specs say that, uh, including the battery, the, the view to is 112 grams. Um, Dimension-wise, um, just so you get an idea, it's 103.5 millimetres tall by 54.4 millimetres wide, um, and in terms of thickness there, it's only 14.8 millimetres, so it's quite slim. Um, very nice, very nice design. Very shiny front there, um, which I'm sure you will need to use that screen protector because it's completely flush um, and it's going to be a fingerprint and scratch magnet. On the sides you've got nice chrome inlay features with the controls and so on. And obviously, as I say, on the back um, you've got your camera, um, which includes a does include a proper flash. Nice feature. Um, let's just pop the back off. There. This is where your battery goes, obviously, um, it, right in this compartment here, and the SIM card in this area here. Also, your micro SD card, if you choose to use one, which I'm sure you will want to use one if you're going to be recording videos and so on, just slides in under there. Um, it does look to me, I'll just verify that now, that you will in the, uh, actually need to remove the battery in order to access the micro SD card. Um, I'm not all that happy with that kind of arrangement. Perfectly honest with you, I'd like to be able to change my memory card without having to remove the battery and obviously power down the device. But uh, obviously that's how this is arranged. Um, one thing I didn't mention about the front of the camera, obviously here, is that there is a front-facing camera, so you can use it for video conferencing. So just a summary of the specification. As I say, it's a 24400 touchscreen display. It is HDS DPA uh, UMTS. Uh, Edge and GPRS. It covers GSM 900, 1800 and 1900 networks. The interface itself is flash based. Unfortunately there is no Wi-Fi on this particular device. But you do have Bluetooth uh, 1.2 with A2DP profile. Uh, the USB interface with the cable is USB 2 for high speed transfer of your videos and photos from the beauty. It's web enabled, there is a web browser, it supports obviously SMS, EMS, MMS, as you'd expect. Also there is an email client built in. As I mentioned the camera is 5 megapixel, it is capable of uh, capturing stills as well as video. Uh, as I say, interestingly, it captures DivX format with the videos. And it's also an ISO 800, so a fairly fast sensitive um, sensor in there for low light conditions. In VGA mode, the camera can capture up to 30 frames a second in QVGA in an astonishing 120 frames a second. Supported as is MPEG-4, WMV, AAC and a DivX. Um, there is a built-in FM radio and that supports RDS also. So shall be reviewing the device in more, de more depth. Um, we'll give you some screenshots and so on and uh, we'll let you know what we think and how this the LG Beauty um, does compare to uh, other devices such as Windows mobile smartphones and so on. Final comparison here with my HTC Titan 2 to give you an idea of size they are almost the same not a great deal of difference in size the Beauty is a little thinner as you can see here but the Beauty is significantly lighter and does have a larger display. Uh, our review will be online soon um, I hope you've enjoyed looking at the LG Beauty.